For over 200 years, economic experts have fantasized about a future in which we would be so efficient that we would only need to labor 10 to 15 hours per week to attain the necessities of life. And that dream hasn't ever materialized. When we go back to our hunter-gatherer days, we worked two to three hours per day and did things to keep ourselves alive. But such activities were undoubtedly part of our culture, and we apparently loved hunting and gathering. After all, it is what people do with their leisure time and money, which is why the wealthy go hunting and gathering, old-fashioned as it sounds. Enough with the history class. Hi and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here at Healthicity, we will not be keeping you nostalgic about the good old days when burnout was not a thing. Still, instead, we will focus on why you are currently experiencing burnout and low motivation and what to do about it. We are all about healthy living here, and we will explain why burnout is not a sign of laziness, but rather a sign that you have pushed yourself to your limits. And as such, stick with us to the end of the video to discover much more about this frowned upon subject by the corporates. Consider liking and sharing this video. Remember also to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications not to miss any of our content. Burnout is a type of fatigue brought on by persistent sensation of being overloaded. Excessive and prolonged emotional, physical, and mental stress causes it. Burnout is frequently linked to one's occupation. You have reached burnout when you are overwhelmed, emotionally fatigued, and unable to keep up with life's constant demands. The condition has not been medically diagnosed. If you do not recognize or address burnout, it can have a negative impact on your physical and emotional health. Burnout makes it difficult to be productive. It saps your vitality, leaving you feeling despondent, cynical, angry, and in the worst cases, suicidal. Burnout may harm your home, job, and social life. This occurs in everyone, and sometimes we get caught up in the moment and forget to take a little break. If you're burned out, it's not your fault. Burnout happens when the demands of a situation are too great for too long, and your surroundings or scenario are overwhelming you and all your resources. It is incredibly difficult to inspect employees to shoulder the weight of constantly growing their resources without firms lowering their standards. But that is exactly what happens all too often. Many of us can get through a particularly stressful month or two at work because we know there is a slower paced schedule or a break on the horizon. However, suppose there is no end in sight. In that case, with no indication of environmental improvements or no indication of support from your leadership team, your resources will eventually be exhausted by the continuous demands. More than half of 1,500 US workers admitted they were burnt out as a consequence of their job expectations in a survey conducted in 2021. And 4.3 million people resigned their employment in December in what has been known as the Great Resignation. When people think about burnout, they frequently think about mental and emotional symptoms like hopelessness and cynicism. However, physical symptoms of burnout can occur and experts advise that you watch for them and take action if you detect them. There are several signs to show that someone is burned out, but we will concentrate on a few major ones that you can spot without second guessing. One thing that is within our control is learning to spot our burnout warning signs. Physical exhaustion is another sign of burnout. Physical exhaustion is the feeling of being completely fatigued for an extended period of time. It is a form of exhaustion that leaves us absolutely drained. We lack energy, drive, attention, and participation when we are physically fatigued. When you are physically exhausted, you will struggle to do even the most basic chores. You will find it difficult to complete things that you could easily execute only a few days or weeks ago. You may have a lack of energy and be sleepy most days in the early stages. You may feel physically and emotionally fatigued, drained, and depleted in the later phases, and you may have a sense of dread about what lies ahead when you wake up on any given day. Burnout can also cause headaches and stomach aches. For centuries, headaches have been a common sign of various diseases, but it is one of the chronic symptoms of burnout. In a Swedish study of persons suffering from fatigue disorder, a medical condition related to burnout, 67% said they felt nausea, gas, or indigestion, and 65% said they had headaches. It is also worth noting that burnout can occur in conjunction with depression or anxiety, both of which can result in physical symptoms. Muscle pains, stomach aches, sleep problems, and appetite anomalies are all symptoms of burnout. Headaches, nausea, and shortness of breath are all symptoms of anxiety. Burnout is characterized by recurrent headaches, according to Herbert Freudenberger, the psychologist who first coined the term in 1974. Moreover, burnout may make you feel confined or stuck. You are emotionally exhausted. When stress builds up as a result of life's bad or hard circumstances, you might become emotionally exhausted and depleted. Emotional weariness is something that most individuals experience gradually over time. Emotional exhaustion manifests itself in various ways, including emotional, 
physical and performance issues. You are emotionally exhausted as a result of burnout if you suffer any of the following symptoms. Anxiety, apathy, depression, feeling helpless or entrapped, irritability, lack of motivation, and uneasiness. When you report to your job in the morning and you are already feeling tired 45 minutes into it, you are burnt out and your mind is giving you a sign by killing your motivation levels. Burnout can also be characterized by poor eating habits, such as eating more or less than usual. 66% of Italian healthcare professionals said their eating habits had changed. People may eat less because they are too busy with no breaks or distracted, or they may need the comfort foods that we all crave when we are too busy. When we are too busy, we are more likely to grab KFC, Big Mac, or similar junk meals. Stress hormones may also impact appetite, making people feel less hungry while they are under a lot of stress and more hungry when their stress incites, according to the same research. The end goal of these is sudden weight gain or weight loss. Yes, that's right. The drastic changes you notice in your weight result from stress caused by burnout. Apathy, anger, depression, and attachment are all honorable mentions. All of these, and many more, are signs of burnout. But the last one will blow your mind. Your apartment plants drying up on you is a sign of chronic burnout. A positive working environment allows you to devote adequate attention to your personal needs. A healthy working environment will allow you to keep a solid schedule and complete tasks around you. I hate to break it to you, but plants drying up is the last stage of depression and personal neglect, and typically necessitates immediate action. It is natural to feel some stress and worry on a daily basis, but persistent stress can harm the body over time. As a result, we shall explain how to deal with burnout. Stay put. Burnout results from lengthy period of persistent life stress, whether it comes from personal stress at home or work-related stress. Burnout affects people in different ways. What is distressing to one individual could be entirely tolerable to another. You must be aware of the elements that contribute to your burnout. High pressure employment such as nurses, physicians, police officers, and teachers, hard training such as medical school, working long hours, or a job you despise, having a kid, financial stress, and so on are some of the more typical causes of burnout. Once you find out the trigger factor for your burnout, you might want to find help to make it less stressful for you. Calling it quits can also be an option. Your health should come first regardless of the circumstance. Contrary to common society's betrayal of the problem, burnout cannot be cured by improving your own self-care. You cannot soft life your way out of it. This implication only exacerbates the problem by placing the blame and responsibility on you and implying you should do more to feel better. This is incorrect because burnout is not caused by laziness on your part. However, several lifestyle changes might reduce the likelihood of burnout. Workplace social support can be beneficial. This might involve meeting with friends or speaking with the work therapist. It may also be beneficial to use your employer's mental health or exercise benefits. Sleeping more and getting adequate rest might also help. Consider taking time off if you are offered it. Your firm will be able to function without you. Finally, even if you may not want to add anything more to your plate, try to set aside some time each day for something you like. Do you enjoy working out but do not have enough time to do so? Include a few activities in your regular routine. This can be as simple as taking a 20-minute stroll every day. Do you ever return home to an empty house? Consider getting a pet to keep you company while also relieving you of some stress. Thank you for sticking with us until the end. Please tell us what you do when you feel burnt out in your case in the comments below. Cheers, see you in the next one.